What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Keep It Techie, where we break down tech and all things Linux so you can level up your skills and step into the tech world with confidence. And today we're diving into a command that's all about security. Now, have you ever deleted a file and think, is it really gone? Well, that's where the shred command comes in. I'm telling you, this bad boy ensures that when you delete a file, it's gone for good. So open up your terminal and let's get to shredding. <laughs> All right, so let's break this down. I'm logged into my virtual machine. This is Parrot OS, and I pulled up the man page for Shred. Now, the Shred command in Linux is designed for secure deletion, and it's included in majority of Linux distributions as a base utility. Now, most of us know that when you delete a file, it's not truly gone. It's just marked as free space on a disk. And so someone with the right tools can recover the data. And that's scary, right? But the shred command overwrites your file multiple times with random data, making recovery nearly impossible. And so it's perfect for those moments when you're like, nope, no one's seeing this. So think of it as your digital paper shredder. Now we all know data privacy is a big deal. So whether you're in IT, cybersecurity, or just a regular user protecting your personal stuff, that's why the shred command is so important. It solves the problem of leaving sensitive data vulnerable after deletion. And this reminds me of some of the tools in a department of defense when they get rid of hard drives and all that stuff. So adversaries can't recover the data. They overwrite that data a bunch of times. I can't remember what the standard is. I think six or seven times but you could do it as many times you want to using the shred command and so let's say you're getting rid of some financial documents like your taxes or private keys or something like that or maybe something embarrassing i'm saying that you have on your computer and it's something that you'd probably rather not explain if let's say something happens to you you know what i'm saying and someone has to go through your computer or your information. Without Shred, someone with basic recovery skills could bring it back. But in my opinion, with Shred, you're locking that door and throwing away the key. It's especially handy for professionals in compliance heavy fields like healthcare and finance. So now let's look at some practical examples of how to use the Shred command. And I'll allow you guys to read through the man page at your leisure. You can check out all the different options that it has included with this application. So hey y'all, Josh here from Keep It Techie. Real quick, let's talk about Rocky Linux. This distro is the real deal if you're looking for a solid enterprise ready Linux solution. It all started after Red Hat dropped CentOS and Gregory Kurtzer, the OG co-founder of CentOS, brought us Rocky Linux as a tribute to his late friend, Rocky McGough. This is community driven, open source software at its finest, and it's already making waves. Rocky Linux 8.10 is out now, giving you that enterprise grade stability without all the Red Hat licensing headaches. So whether you're running a home lab or a full on data center, Rocky's got your back. So if you wanna keep it open source and keep your data secure, check out Rocky Linux. The link's down in the description of the video. It's built by the community, for the community, and it's here to stay. Stay techie, y'all. Let's go on and quit out. And so one of the first things I'll do is basically generate a file, or let's see if we got any files in here, but we don't. So. Let's create a file right fast. Let's just use touch and we can name it testfile.txt and press enter and ls. And so we want to shred that test file. Let's say that it has some financial information in there or something and you want to get rid of it. The basic use case is to simply overwrite that file using shred with no options. So we can type shred and then test file and I'm going to tab it out and press enter and that'll shred it. And so what the command did was overwrite that file multiple times and by default it uses three passes of random data and so i want you guys to really know that but you can up the amount of passes that you want by using this next option that i wanted to show you guys and that is the dash in option so let's create that file again i'm gonna just up arrow twice and create that test file again now let's run shred on that file and we're gonna use that in option. So dash in, and then you can specify the number of times you want to pass over that file with random data. So let's do 10 and let's go test file and press enter. And as you can see, it's not giving any output. So just so you guys know, it won't give you any output unless it run into errors. Now there's another way of actually 
shredding a file. And that's by overwriting the file multiple times before deleting it. Because essentially the default, what it does is it overwrites it and then marks it as free space. But when you use dash U, it deletes the file completely. And this combo overwrites and removes it in one go. So that's perfect for those burn it all down moments. But let me give you guys an example right fast. So let's run touch again, create that file. And then all you got to do is type shred and then dash U and then our test file. Press boom. There we go. Now I said, you won't see any output. I know what it's doing based on the options that we're putting in there. But let's say you want to see some output of what's actually happening. And what I'm going to do is create that, that file again, that test file again. Press enter. And actually, let's go back up to the top so you guys can see. But let's run the shred 10 times again for that test file. And then also, what I'm going to do is put that dash V in there, which is for verbose. And we can press enter. And that'll give us, it should have gave us some output. But since that file is so small, you can't really see any output. That's why it didn't show us anything. But what happens is it's mainly for bigger files. So if you have a, a large file, or let's say you're deleting a partition or shredding a partition, then you want to use that dash V file. That way you can see a progress. And this is helpful for how long it's going to take when actually removing that file. And speaking of partitions, you can actually use shred to shred partitions as a whole. So let's say, let's go DF dash L8. And let's say you want to shred the whole home directory, your whole home directory. And you could put this like in a kill switch on your system. Let's say you can run this script before, let's say you got the FBI kicking out your door. You can run that script real quick and it'll shred your partition. And then you can also put in the script, shut down the system. That way it'll automatically shut down at the completion of running that script. But all you got to do is type shred. And I'm not going to run this because it'll destroy this system. But you type shred and then you always want to use V with that because like I said, when you're looking at bigger files or partitions or something like that, you definitely want to look at Verbo so you can see the output that's happening. And then all you got to do is specify that file system. So we can go and remove that four slash dev and then four slash VDA and one and then press enter. And this will remove that home directory as well as your swap because that's all under that same partition. It's under the first partition and your home directory. I set it up where it installed everything on one partition. So it'll shred that three times so that it'll just basically make it harder for anyone to retrieve the information off of there. And so in my opinion, this is an awesome application. You know what I'm saying? You can do so much with it. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as deleting those files, you know, shredding those files, uh, overwriting them a certain amount of times, as well as shredding entire partitions. You know, that is super dope. Let's say you got a hard drive. And I actually used this when I was reselling one of my terabyte hard drives to someone. I ran shred on it and I, I had it pass over it like 20 times or something like that. When I knew I was about to sell it and I had removed all my data off of it, then I shredded it multiple times just to make sure no one can get anything off of it. Not that I had anything worth hiding on that hard drive. It was just backups and stuff like that. I just didn't want anybody to have access to something that I may have on there, like some keys or some SSH keys or something, old keys that I, were, I was using or a copy of my actual keys. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make sure nobody could access it. But anyway, that's the lowdown on the shred command like i said it's simple powerful and an essential tool for anyone serious about data security whether you're shredding files partitions or just learning linux basics this command is a must-have in your toolkit now if you found this video helpful go down and hit that like button subscribe to keep it techie and drop a comment down below to let me know what other linux commands do you want me to cover and as always i appreciate y'all watching and learning with me remember to stay safe stay curious and most importantly keep it techie peace yo what's up y'all listen if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move let me tell you tech is where it's at i don't care where you coming from whether you've got a degree a ged or just pure hustle there's room for you in this game you see tech is more than just keyboards and code it's solving problems creating opportunities and building the future you already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start it cares where you're willing to go you can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, 
But think about this, the time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills, it opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what, you belong here. So let's get it, because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech. Bye.